chess, thought to be maybe too complicated or useless until you try it. While chess is said to be a nerd's game, it can be easy to understand. Maybe the most useless piece, the cornerstone to the game itself, it can move one space forward or two spaces forward only if it's the pawn's first move of the game. Even though the pawn can move forward, it can only capture in one forward diagonal. The knight moves in an L-shaped pattern and can hop over pieces, the only piece that can do so. Captures where it lands, the knight can control any eight tiles at once. The bishop, very simple, moves only in any diagonal space. The rook, a late game piece, moves forward, backwards, or side to side any number of spaces. The queen has the combined powers of the bishop and the rook, making her the most powerful piece in the game. The king is very fragile, moving only in any adjacent tile to it. The pieces each have a base number to give it a value. Pawns are rated at a 1, knights at 3, bishops also at 3, rooks at 5, queens at 10, and the king at infinite. The board is set up like an 8x8 grid, a vertical lines called files and horizontal rows called ranks. On the second rank for white, a line of pawns fills it up. Rooks take the two corners, knights to them, bishops to the knights, and the queen and king are left. Now to memorize the somewhat confusing placement of these two, try to see that the queen takes its color. Another important rule is being able to castle. This is when both the king and rook move in one turn 